Okay, we're going to be talking about electron flow, and we're going to be comparing conventional versus the actual electron, electron flow. Now, to begin with, um, conventional is where we started from. That's, that's where everything began. Uh, let's throw a circuit up here. We're going to throw, basically, a battery or power source. And let's run it through, say, just a resistor. We'll just call that resistor R1, and we'll give the positive and negative sides of this battery. Okay, so there's our circuit. So let's go change over to a little bit different color. Now, when we consider a conventional circuit, this is where they started, and they assumed that since it was positive, that there were surplus electrons. So here we go. So we'll put I for current, and so under conventional, we see that current flows from positive through to the negative. Now, over science, then they figured out, hey, you know what? They measured this stuff. They found out that in reality, electrons are actually flowing from the negative side. So in reality, the electrons are flowing physically this way. which is electron or the actual flow. Now, all of this was set in place before they realized, hey, our electrons are really flowing this way, but gee, we figured out this, we've got positive and negative signs everywhere, we've got components and sig symbols, so like, let's throw a diode in place here. Alright, so if we follow this circuit, if current flows up through the diode, passes through the resistor, and then of course returns back to our negative side. In this case, it actually works. The flow works. Now, if we flip that diode around, it would of course stop the flow of current. Alright, but if we put that in, um, put it in backwards, that stops the flow. Now, when I look at this, this makes sense. Current's flowing from positive through the diode over and around. But if we consider it with the actual electron flow, here we go, it's coming up from the negative up and through. Oh, it allows it to flow this way, but not this way. So, to me, that gets really confusing. That's why a lot of people that deal with electronics and electricity consider conventional electron or conventional current flow this way. But you need to know that there's the actual current flow, and there's going to be a little bit of conflict with science people, biology, chemistry, because they always, or they typically look at the physical flow of the electron, which is backwards from our conventional flow. The main thing is, is to just know there's a difference and, you know, realize that.